There is no doubt that automation is one of the easiest ways to lower the cost of service and improve experiences for customers and service agents alike. Let me show you. Hi, Matt Barron, Product Specialist at Invigate. With Invigate Service Desk, you can build some extremely powerful automation without code. Before we get started, you can always grab a trial instance of our software at try.invigate.com and follow along. The first and most obvious suggestion when automating things on a service desk is to automate everything that can be requested, starting with your most popularly requested services. The most obvious and popular automated request is usually password reset. So if you haven't done that already, it's time to catch up. Depending on your SSO provider, you may need users to visit the self-service portal to password reset, or maybe there is an API integration you can leverage. Just build the best experience you can. So in Invigate Service Desk, it might be a link to a knowledge base article or a link from that article to your SSO portal or a fully automated request. It's what your customers probably already expect. Some other high volume requests might be requests for software and applications, email changes or phone requests. And for these, you can route the work at a very basic level to the people performing the work manually. Or, depending on the technology you use, you might be able to integrate it with our bi-directional API. Or, if you have a managed service provider or MSP, you might just be sending off an email to their team to perform their work or you're integrating with their ticketing system directly. Once you have a majority of your request items, the popular ones, automated, it's likely that you're ready to start automating onboarding. This is a really great automation to have in place so you don't forget little bits of the process and you can then provide a consistently awesome experience for new hires. Here's an example of an onboarding workflow with HR kicking things off and setting up things like payroll and doing their work before they pass the work over to IT, where we're creating an Azure account and setting up their laptop and then, of course, making sure everything is, is in the right place. The same goes for offboarding. And it's an easy thing to automate. You probably also want to ensure you don't miss a single step in offboarding for obvious reasons. So here's an offboarding workflow that is completely manual. It does mean that there are tasks and steps along the way so we don't drop any balls. And if we want to add automation here, we already have the framework in place to add it to our workflow. So say we automate the recycling or deletion of their AD account, we can just put that into this workflow right here. Work routing, assignment, and escalation are another great place to implement automation. Automating the work of incidents and other interrupt-driven demands will ensure fast turnaround, or at least that the right team and person is aware of the pending work. When a ticket is entered, having the right team assigned is just the first step. Here you can see a simple request and it's linked to our application support team. But maybe you need additional filters for this type of work, where it's coming from or who the person is, what groups they're a part of. For that, I can add in assignment rules. Maybe applications that are requested in the Americas go to level one and we want all international requests to automatically go to level two. It's easy to configure it right here. Next, if the right person isn't selected or auto-routed, you need a way to give new service agents and other colleagues a quick and easy escalation point for every type of ticket for those teams. For this, we head over to Help Desks and set up a pre-configured escalation path. For this, I've already got it set up so that if any application support level 1 tickets get escalated, they'll be auto-escalated to level 2. One amazing feature that's getting more and more popular and needs to be mentioned is the use of AI and predictive analytics to improve service. We've got a pretty useful set of features right here for rephrasing ticket responses. This useful feature allows me to type less and still maintain communication standards. If I'm stuck trying to figure out a way to respond to customers, I can simply type in the basics of what I'm trying to say and then let the AI take care of the rest. 
The second way that predictive analytics has really been helpful is connecting related records. For instance, if there's a major incident that's open for a VPN outage and I'm creating a VPN ticket, the prediction engine suggests that we relate the records together. The next automations I'm going to show you are everything related to a ticket experience, and there's a lot that's needed to make ticketing easy, so let's get to it. First, there's a ton of back and forth on each ticket. Agents spend all day typing responses to customers. So we have this awesome feature that allows agents to use canned responses. These can adapt using references from the ticket. They can mention the customer's first name, your name, what they requested, all sorts of dynamic elements. They can also be managed individually by agents, or they can be written and shared by teams or with specific request items. So we can have software and application related canned responses for software and application related requests. It's a huge time saver that also does great work towards standardizing communications, things like adding our extension and our, our official help desk name. Next, we all want to hit our customer satisfaction and service level goals, right? So these two things need to be automated and they need to be simple. Customers get a very clear one to five star rating every time one of their tickets gets moved to a resolve state. We also give them a way to provide plain text feedback. Now this can also be put into an email for customers to simply click if they don't go into a self-service portal. Service levels or SLAs track things like speed to respond as well as the time to resolve. These are tracked by default and displayed to agents front and center in their My Work area. But you might have other needs. So we've built some pretty powerful tools to make all the details of your SLAs coded into Invigate Service Desk so you don't have to do manual calculations or advanced reporting to get the information that you need. For customers that visit the self-service portal, we have a couple unique ways to present knowledge to users. This is great at avoiding tickets altogether and a great way to get customers helping themselves. And if we go one step further, we can even force customers to view the knowledge article and then select whether it solved the problem or not. In this case, a VPN error that we know their computer is not connected to the internet and hopefully they realize that connect to the internet and then no longer get the error. Finally, the foundation of improving any service is by measuring the results. So it only makes sense that most service desk teams want to be able to build, read and share their most important metrics and measures in reports. One thing I'll point out is that giving everyone access to reports and dashboards is super important and a factor in determining whether they will actually get used. Another thing that's really nice to have are snapshots. Every day, agents and managers are closing tickets and keeping track of tickets by state or count. And these things can only be done effectively if you have a snapshot. Show me how many remaining tickets I had in this month and then see how many of those are getting closed. So you have a rolling number of them. So in comes scheduled reports to save the day. Simply set up a report for what you want to record and keep for safekeeping and then send them to a mailbox and put them in a subfolder to auto route them. So these are just a few of the various automation features of Invigate Service Desk that's designed to save agents and service teams precious time. For more on this topic, check us out on YouTube or discover our solutions by signing up for a trial at try.invigate.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you again soon.